Hey, this is Brock from Melcina Records. And this is Martina behind the camera because we don't have our tripod. So today in the store, we are having a bit of a debate and it's to shrink or not to shrink. So what is all the hype about? What is all the hype about? Do we keep the shrink wrap, shrink wrap on your records? Do you peel it off? What do you do? Do you keep it on sometimes? And we can't decide. Do you take it off sometimes? Okay, so. So are you an absolutist or what do you do? So I'm gonna start with an easy one, right? Okay. So this is Edward's Hand. This is a psychedelic rock record from 1968. George Martin produced this from the Beatles fame. Okay, you just bought this record. It's yes. been in the shrink since 1968, but it's not, the shrink is not doing anything no. for this. The, 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 the cover is it, obscure. There's some like schmutz on the back here. I get why the seller kept it in a shrink because- It protected it all protected, these years, Yeah, but you're not really enjoying it. No, you're not you getting- You can't really see, see it. No. So what I'm going to do is <gasps> on camera, Rip it so, off. Sorry, everybody who's going to get anxiety about this. Taking the shrink off of it. And it looks better. It looks better without it. It doesn't have the schmutz on the back of it. There's a cool punch cut out in the middle of it. But whatever. That has nothing to do with the shrink. But it looks better. It looks better than without this ratty yes. shrink on it. Okay. Second here, a little bit more difficult, would be this Loretta Land record here. Yes. Which so, I picked up this weekend. Yes. So you can see that there's the original price tag, cents. 99 cents sticker, which- It's a cutout. It's a cutout. There's some other letters, numbers on here that meant something okay, at some point. Okay, but the point. shrink is doing nothing for me. Just and somebody wrote, somebody on, the, wrote on the back- On the shrink. And marked, uh, always wanting you, and hey, won't you play? So what we're gonna do here is- Rip it rip off. Rip it off. Rip that off. Uh, and again, looks better. It looks so much better. Looks better. Now we have, actually I'm gonna do this one first. We have this Sonic Dawn record here. Which is already open. Already opened. So. And we why did we keep it in the shrink? Cause it's not like if there's a gatefold. No. So. That's a whole other conversation. Yes. Gatefolds and shrink. Um, but it has this cool hype sticker on it. Heavy Psych Sounds hype. I really like the Heavy Psych Sounds hype stickers. Yes, so, going to a limited edition colored vinyl. Let's see how cool it is. It is a great record though. Check these guys out. But kept it on. Honestly, I don't care whether it's on or not. No, I'm not going to do it. I don't It wouldn't bother me one bit. And. All right, see, I want to take, that's not open yet, but I want to take the shrink of that. Yeah. Because it's a cheesecake cover and I love cheesecake covers and that is deterring from the viewing of just the cool Chet Baker cover. Yeah, and it's not as interesting as yeah, this Yeah, I mean, it's just a think. generic jazz classics. I mean, it's not even like great label or anything. I just wanted no. it because it's got, it's got the cool cover. That's why I wanted it, so. Yeah, so when this gets opened, this will probably be coming off. Yeah, because it's kind of taking away from it for me, so. Yeah. All right, we want to know what you guys think. Yeah, so what do you guys think? To shrink, not to shrink? Are you an absolutist? Are you a never shrinker? Where I feel like JC is going to say something about this, maybe. Probably. Probably. Where do you stand? All right, let us know in the comments. Bye.